Welcome to San Luis Podiatry Group. The following brief presentation is on metatarsal stress fractures, which is the most common stress fracture involving the foot and the ankle. The key to fracture management is immobilization. Most simple metatarsal stress fractures can be immobilized for a period of three to four weeks. Preferable route of immobilization is the use of a cam boot. A cam boot is a rigid brace that has rocker ability, and it does a remarkable job decreasing mechanical stresses on the injured bone, allowing it to heal. Less preferable routes of treatment include the use of a post-surgical shoe. Post-surgical shoe has very little ability to decrease some of the mechanical stresses on the metatarsal. The key to successful fracture management is early recognition. Uh, when someone experiences swelling and pain on top of the foot, even in light of negative x-rays, it's really important to, su to suspect stress fractures and immobilize and treat as if it is in fact a stress fracture. Metatarsal stress fractures are the most common, uh, commonly experienced stress fractures of, of the foot and the ankle. Uh, there are five metatarsals corresponding to the first through the fifth toe. The second metatarsal anatomically is the longest of all the metatarsals. So when we're walking heel to toe into propulsion, the second metatarsal will generate uh, greater loads and greater uh, stresses. Repetitive stress over a period of time can actually cause a stress fracture to the metatarsals. Uh, pain associated with stress fractures and swelling are the very first things that we see. Uh, X-ray oftentimes very much lags behind uh, the clinical uh, experience of a stress fracture. Many times patients will relate uh, excessive walking or walking in a shoe that was excessively broken down um, over a prolonged period of time and the repetitive stress to the bone is what really creates the injury. The very first thing that patients will uh, notice is that there's some very diffuse or a very small amount of swelling to this region of the foot as compared. And this swelling is one of the very first uh, clinical features that we'll see uh, in an exam. The secondary thing that we'll see is very localized tenderness to the mid portion of the metatarsal, which is the most commonly injured region of the metatarsal. That's to differentiate pain from the metatarsal joint, which is down lower. Very commonly, patients also may have a very mild hallux valgus or bunion deformity, which changes the weight-bearing pressure distribution through the foot. This is an x-ray at two weeks post-injury. The x-rays are negative despite the clinical symptoms. At this point, if we did additional imaging studies, we could get an MRI, which would help with the diagnosis. Uh, an MRI, we try to reserve for very specific uh, incidences. This is the same patient at uh, week three post-injury. The arrow demarcates the earliest radiographic evidence of a stress fracture, which is called periosteal reaction. If you've experienced pain and swelling to the top of the foot, you have to think about a metatarsal stress fracture. If you've had x-rays taken, don't depend on the x-ray results in terms of uh, planning treatment. Immobilization with the use of a removable cam boot is a very easy tool to help allow that stress fracture to heal.